Hey everyone, Billy from the LM Cases Custom Integration Department. And today we are going to look at two of our standard three phase power distros. Um, on the table today, we have the D31 and the D32 standard power distros here from LM Tor Systems. Um, let's take a look at the D31. Uh, this is designed to be a very, very standard, one size sort of fits all rack pack. Um, on the front here, you have an L2130 in, a L2130 loop output, a um, Edison outlet with its own 15 amp pot breaker on it, and then you have three Airpax hydraulic breakers in the 20 amp flavor on the front. On the back, you have three phases split out into Edison outlets. So you have uh, four duplex outlets on the Z, uh, two duplex outlets on the Y, and, one du or, and two duplex outlets on the X. Now you may be asking yourself, why are there 20 amp breakers on the front? Well, the breakers have to match what the output receptacle is. So even though we're taking a 30 amp uh, three phase um, inlet signal, inlet amount of power, sorry, using audio terms there, um, the, uh, the breakers have to match what the outlet is on the back. Now, keep that in mind. That is going to be very important when we go to our D32 distro. Um, so again, just basic applications for this would be an amp rack. Uh, video cases are, are very popular for this. Um, there are, if, if you are on a job site or on a show site and the easiest and most, most ubiquitous power is L2130, uh, this makes it very, very easy to, um, to, to, to basically make 20 amp legs out of that and plug in normal equipment. Um, I forgot to mention on the, uh, the front outlet, there are three LED lights that illuminate when um, voltage is applied to each leg. Um, so if you do, if you're stringing these together as an example and you lose a phase, um, you, can, you can look at several things strung together and say, oh, hey, my X light isn't, uh, isn't illuminated. Um, I know that that's where my problem is. You know, again, very basic courtesy power. Um, these are heavy duty inlets. Um, the, uh, all of the outlets are Hubble 5362s, really, really severe duty um, 20 amp uh, Edisons. They're very, very good. Again, pot breakers, or excuse me, not a pot breaker, I mean hydraulic breakers. And one of the things we do like about these Airpax breakers are when they pop, um, you can, uh, they, they show white. So you can very quickly in a show, uh, in a show site see what, is, um, what, what leg is tripped if it is tripped. Um, some of the square D breakers and things like that are, you know, it's, it's just an on off switch. It's sometimes not super, super apparent, especially in a low light environment, which is why these are great. Again, very standard, very simple distro. The 3-2, the D3-2 um, is, is where things start to get a little bit more specialized. Again, you have a 2130 inlet and outlet on the front, so you can um, you can uh, link link distros together. Uh, the courtesy outlet changes from a standard duplex outlet to a USB outlet, uh, so you do get two um, you get a duplex outlet, so you get two you get two AC outlets, but you also get a USB A and a USB C. Um, in in the year of our Lord 2024. We're in that weird transition where there are USB A's and USB C's out in, in the world. Um, I've just been specking these for everything recently um, just to, to kind of give options. I've certainly gotten myself into trouble on, on systems where I'm like, ah, crap, I only have the USB A or, oh, I only have the USB C. I wish I had something, someplace to plug this in. Uh, this this kind of combo outlet helps. Um, they do make a dual USB-A version and a dual USB-C version. Uh, we have certain things like our DSK-SMs and DSK-ACs, which if you want to check the link below for uh, those particular products, you can outfit them on the website if you just need single courtesy outlets. Um, 
it, it just is, this is kind of the most cost effective. The double USB-A outlet, I think is like 20 bucks kind of thing right now. The dual USB-C outlet is like 55 bucks. Whereas this one that has the A and the C, even though you only get one of each flavor, is like $35, so it's just more economical. Um, the other thing is this only has a 5 amp breaker on it. It is specifically designed just for courtesy power. So as an example, if this is in a front of house kind of application um, or in a monitor world kind of application, you want to charge your phone or your iPad or something like that, this gives you this. Uh, but it, it kind of prevents you from, from getting into trouble because you only have a 5 amp pop breaker. Um, again, just like the, uh, the D3-1, there are three LEDs that illuminate when, when power is applied. Um, the other thing that changes now is you get two 20 amp breakers and one 30 amp breaker. And this will make sense once we flip this over. Um, oh, I should mention, um, the, the thing that I didn't mention on the D3-1 uh, is this outlet is wired pre-breaker. Um, so if you pop, if you have two amp racks, for example, that are linked together, um, and you're, you're drawing, you know, one, one pops, you know, if you, if, if say, for example, you have subs on your X leg on the, on the D3 one and it pops, you're not going to knock a leg out on your other amp rack if you have two cables, uh, running them together. Why do we do that? Well, there is logic applied to that. It's not just a random thing. If you're, if you have a main distro, which most, most people do, uh, and you're feeding um, just different circuits of, it's kind of complicated to think about it like this, but if you have different circuits of L2130 that are coming off of it, uh, that's already limited at a 30 amp breaker. So if you have two of these together and you're, you're linking them off of a, um, uh, an L2130 off of the main distro, it's not like you get 60 amps there. You only get 30 because it's it's protected. Uh, same thing as if you're pulling this off of a wall. You know, if it's a club or something like that that gives you an L2130, if you start linking them together, you only have 30 amps, you know, three legs of 30 amps to play with. So that's our logic for doing that. Um, obviously, everything we build, all right, maybe not obviously, maybe you don't know this. Everything we do is custom per order. Um, so if you would like if you would like us to wire um, this so that it's on the post on the load side of the breaker and not the line side, we'll use proper electrical terms there. Uh, we can do it for you. It's not a problem. Uh, so looking at the back, you get one L530 on your X leg, so that's why there's a 30 amp breaker. And the reason why we started doing this is we did have a couple of customers that were buying the D31. Um, and saying, oh man, my subamp took a hard hit and it popped the breaker because, you know, somebody decided to do the ultimate 808 bass drop. Um, so, you know, again, like I mentioned in the D3-1, you need to match your breaker to, the, to its output receptacle. Um, we do have an L530 on the back. Now, be, I mentioned a second ago that we build everything per order and everything can be modified. Uh, I have flipped this to an L520 on the back and flip the breaker to a 20 amp breaker uh, just so that you could have one dedicated circuit of, of 20 amps. Um, you know, the thing that, that takes a long time as far as lead times goes is the metal working. So I try to have generic enough enclosures so that you can um, swap things around if you need to. Um, you know, uh, I had somebody the other day ask me to make this YY, or excuse me, uh, X, Y, and Z instead of YYZ. Bam, 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 bam. Sorry, yeah, I had to. There's, there's a rush reference. Every time we build one of these, I laugh every single time that it's YYZ or YYZ. Uh, somebody just asked that if they can have XYZ on the back and you know we, we stuck a little P-Touch label over that and, and it made it go. Is it you know the sexiest thing in the world to have a P-Touch label over the very nice white laser etching? No, but you know sometimes people just need things quickly and we do keep a number of these chassis in stock um, just, just to accommodate orders. And if you want to flip it around, like I said, the, we can do that. The, the L520 versus the L530 is the same cutout. Um, it's not a problem. So again, going back, you have your legs broken up. X is dedicated on the back. Uh, Z, you get two duplex outlets and you also get a true one. Um, and then Y, you get two uh, duplex outlets per that. Um, on a lot of distros, you know, I think we all sort of live in an, in in a world where we're kind of configuring systems per um, per per gig per job. 
Um, sometimes just being able to plug a bunch of stuff in is cool. Um, I do like putting in a, a either a true one or a power con or both to many things. Um, the reason why is we make a fourplex um, power con and true one breakout, and you can get it from one foot to a hundred feet. Um, so sometimes this is just a really good way of providing additional courtesy outlets. So if you want to use the LTOR systems uh, breakout fourplex, you can uh, check the link below for that. Um, also, if you want to buy these, you can check the link below. You can go uh, magically transported to our uh, web store and you can get these. But uh, that's cool. You can use the fourplex. Uh, the other thing is if you want to just take, say, for example, a Furman plug lock, uh, which is one of my favorite power distribution units because you can, you can screw it down. So uh, as the system integrator that we are, we, we build everything in portable. Uh, that's a big deal, which is why we sell it from our web store. Another shameless plug. If you want to check the link below, you can buy the Furman plug lock from your friendly neighborhood case company, uh, assuming that your neighborhood is northeastern Ohio. But it's, um, again, it just gives you some um, some ways to plug it in. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I messed that up. Uh, you can cut the end off of the Furman plug lock and plug it into here, um, which... If you're looking for things to be locking, this is a locking connector, and then the Furman plug lock has little saddles that go over it. Uh, you can tell our very expensive graphics that we have here at LM. This is my version of an After Effects uh, animation. So, uh, anyway, that is the D32. So, in closing, if you have any questions, you can email me direct, billy at lmcases.com. I know that uh, power is an often mystified kind of thing, and I, I would say that on average I get one or two random emails a day um, of people that are looking for uh, questions about power. Um, you know, hey, I'm a DJ and I need to plug this in, or hey, I'm a sound company and I need to go to X venue. Um, if I buy your distro, uh, can I plug it in? Um, you know, don't feel bad about emailing me. I, I, I give my personal email address out for a reason. It is not a, a, a mystical thing, and I will get back to you. It might not be very quick, but uh, I, I will get back to you about this kind of thing. If you do have questions, please feel free to email me. Don't buy something blindly. Um, I am more than happy to talk about the system that you have or the system that you want to build um, and answer any questions that you may have. So again, billy at lmcases.com. You can email me. Um, you can also check us out on Instagram. We are lm underscore cases. Um, for this kind of thing, which we call custom integration, CI in LM nomenclature, um, you can see these things get built. Um, you know, I do try to post videos of of us building these kind of things because I, I think it's interesting. You know, I we don't really have anything to hide. Um, you know, I always want to show you what you're getting. Um, I, I kind of assume the first thing that anybody is going to do is, is pop the hood on any one of these. So the wiring is very neat and, and very obviously serviceable if, if something should happen, if a screw vibrates release or something like that. All the phases are different colors, you know, that kind of stuff. It's, it's very, very straightforward. Uh, so there's our Instagram plug, LM underscore cases. Um, and again, if you want to buy these direct from us, you can lmcasesonline.com. Uh, thanks so much. You know, again, if you have questions, you can email me or if you just want to leave a comment below, if you think it's a public enough question that other people may have those questions, uh, just leave a comment below. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Catch you on the next one.